I'll use this vent type supercharger or blower or compressor to explain pneumatic and hydraulic motor. So the pressurized fluid comes in this hole and basically go in there, produces pressure, pushes uh, force on these vents. So I'm going to take it out so you can see what's going on. So this mass portion is actually, this mass amount is coming out of the rotor and then the pressurized fluid pushes in there. So the pressure all over these places about this mass area. So the total force will be simply the pressure times this area. So then I'll get the amount of force coming on this vent. So once you know the force, then you can multiply by the distance to calculate the torque. So for example, it comes out, the force is acting on those veins, and then you can find the torque by multiplying the force times the distance from the center of rotation. The force, resultant force will act basically the center of this rectangle. So this is the area where you have the force coming. So it's gonna act in the middle at the center. So from the center of the force, the distance would be simply the center of that rectangle somewhere in the middle here. So you know the force, pressure times area, pressurizes, pressurizes fluid coming into it and pressurizes, putting force times the area, pressurizes fluid pressure times the area. That's gonna produce the force. And then the dis you multiply by the distance, you get the torque. So the, and now it's, so pressurizes fluid coming, making, pressurizes it, so, developing some kind of torque. So it's making a rotation. So now we know the torque and the RTM number of rotation, then you can calculate the power. So you're using hydraulic or pneumatic power, pressurizes fluid coming in, and then developing some kind of mechanical power. Torque times RPM will produce mechanical power. So that's how hydraulic m motor works or pneumatic motors it could be um, this is actually uses air so it could be a pressurizes liquid or a pressurizes gas that can actually does the same thing here pressurizes this produces force torque and then rpm similar thing here by the action of the pressurizes fluid these gears will uh, right here it will get force pressure times area, and then the distance. So that will give you the uh, force times distance, the torque. And then, you know the torque, you can basically multiply by the RPM to get the power. So the torque times RPM, mechanical power. So that's how, basically, uh, there is a video on this Ben pump particularly, developing the equations for torque, the power, uh, you know, the size, using the size of this compressor and the pressure. So please check that video as well after this one.